Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Ever wanted to turn your old laptop or desktop PC into a powerful streaming and gaming hub? Well, today I'm going to show you how to install a full persistent Google TV experience on a simple USB drive. We're talking Android TV 13, all your apps and all your data saved directly to the drive. So you can take your smart TV experience anywhere you go. Here's what you'll need for this setup. The Google TV 13 ISO file. The link is in the video description. A USB drive, 32 gigabytes or larger is recommended and Rufus to create a bootable USB. Once you download the file extract, it Inside the folder is the ISO file and storage folder. In the storage folder are some data storage files, eight gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, or 64 gigabytes versions. These are just pre-made data partitions of different capacities, so you can choose how much storage you want for your Google TV setup. We'll also need Rufus. It's the most reliable tool for creating bootable USB drives. Head to the official Rufus website and download the latest version. Insert your USB drive into your PC. Now open Rufus. Make sure your USB drive is selected in the device dropdown. Click select and find the Android 13 ISO file you just downloaded. Here's the critical step. As Rufus loads the ISO, you'll see an option for persistent partition size. This is where the magic happens. Slide this bar to allocate the amount of space you want for your apps and files. For this tutorial, I'll set it to around 64 gigabytes on my 128 gigabyte drive. All right, now for the partition scheme. This part's important. If your PC is newer, like anything that came with Windows 10 or 11, choose GPT. It works with UEFI systems, which most modern PCs use. But if your computer is older, maybe running Windows 7 or has a legacy BIOS, then go with MBR. Basically, GPT for new PCs, MBR for old ones. Once you hit start, Rufus will warn you that all data on the drive will be destroyed. Double check, you've selected the right drive and hit OK. This will take some time, so grab a coffee and be patient. Rufus is done, but we're not finished. Your USB drive now has multiple partitions and a lot of space is unallocated. We need to fix this to store our personal data open disk management. If you have a large USB drive, Rufus will fail to detect it. Make sure the list USB hard drives is ticked. Forgot to mention this. Find your USB drive. You'll see the bootable partition and the space we want to use. Right click the space and delete it. Right click the unallocated space and choose new simple volume. Follow the wizard, selecting the full size of the remaining space. For the file system, select XFAT. Android X86 has historically had better compatibility with this for additional storage. Give it a name like data to keep things organized. Finish the wizard. 
The XFAT format also ensures your device can read and write files without size limitation. Now open File Explorer. You should see your new data partition. We need to copy our systems.sfs file here. Now you might be wondering, why are we doing this? Well, this file contains all the core system data that Google TV needs to boot up, kind of like the engine of the operating system by placing it in the data partition. We're making sure Google TV can find and load it when it starts and also access it quickly from your USB. Think of it like giving Google TV its own drive where it can keep all the important stuff ready to go every time you boot. Next, grab your data file. That's your storage file one and make sure you extract it first if it's zipped. Then drag it into the data partition right next to the system.sfs file. This file is super important. Uh, it acts like Google TV's internal storage where all your apps, settings, and data get saved. Without it, every time you reboot, everything would reset. So this is what keeps your setup persistent. You'll probably have a few different sizes to choose from, like 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, or even 64 gigabytes. Pick the one that fits your USB and how much space you want for apps, downloads, and system data. I will go for the 16 gigabytes. That's it for the prep work. Now, it's time to boot. You now have a bootable Google TV USB drive with a live environment and persistent space. All right, now it's time to test it out, restart your computer, and open your boot menu, usually by pressing F12, Escape, Delete, or F9, depending on, on your system. Select your USB drive and boot from it. The ones that say external are best used when connecting to, say, a TV with an HDMI cable. The rest you can use on a PC or laptop. If one fails, say, gives you a blank screen, try another. After a short boot time, you'll be greeted with the familiar Android TV setup screen. Follow the on-screen prompts to connect to Wi-Fi and log into your Google account. And that's it, yum. You now have a portable Google TV system on a USB drive. You can plug it in, into almost any computer and boot straight into Google TV without installing anything to the hard drive.